Bobby talked about the 600 million prescriptions annually. Um, you know, when Health Canada looked, um, you know, at the entire marketplace, they saw the great opportunity just in the traditional fill and bill prescriptions that we get in our pharmacies every day. Um, so things like long-term care, specialty, infusion-based services, those type of components, was not originally part of the scope of Prescribe It, but it's an important part of many of your practices on a day-to-day -day basis. Prescribe It today will be able to transmit a specialty medication to the pharmacy, um, but to your point, it may not drive the full efficiency that you want because there's a certain number of components to it. Um, so to answer your question, we are fully engaged with the insurers. Um, we do have some, some infrastructure through a governance uh, format that allows for us to get their feedback. And it wouldn't surprise you to hear that a lot of the things that they're interested in are some things that you just brought up. Um, ways in which, you know, um, some coordinated benefits determination can occur in advance. Um, maybe even knowing what's on Ian's formulary so that I don't prescribe something that, you know, when they go to the pharmacy and you go to adjudicate it, it's not covered. And they've got to figure it out, you know, with Bill calling uh, Dr. O'Leary back saying this drug isn't covered, you know, you have to, you know, look at another option. So, so those are all pieces that are going to be coming in and they will be part of our roadmap. Um, so yes, we do have a lot of stakeholder engagement with those players as well. And I think there's a lot of commonality in what everyone's looking for with respect to specialty medication.